Hi Christine, happy Tuesday. Today we are here with the Try Not To Cry. This is the final video for today, I promise. I promise, I promise. And then there's more tomorrow. Um, this is to this day completed by K K Kibalulu. This was a request that I received. And I'm guessing, I'm gonna just guess, it's a song. Obviously this cat, somebody passed away. So, I don't know what we're about to get into, but we're all gonna see this. The link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. And that's it, so let's get started. Surrounded by people who used to say that rhyme mm -hmm. about sticks and stones. Dear. As if broken bones hurt more than the names we got called, and we got called them all. Okay, this is about um, bullying. So we grew up believing no one would ever fall in love with us. That we'd be lonely so sad. forever. That we'd never meet someone to make us feel like the sun was something they built for us in their tool shed. That's uh, low self-esteem caused by bullying. Led the blues as we tried to empty ourselves so we would feel nothing. Oh. Don't tell me that hurts less than a broken bone. Yeah, words that do hurt. That grown life is something surgeons can cut away. But there's no way for oh it to metastasize God. it does. Oh, metastasize is what cancer does. Our first day of grade three when she got called ugly. We both got moved That's to the so back sad. of the class so we would stop getting bombarded by spitballs. But the school halls were a battleground. We found ourselves up number so day sad. after wretched day. We used like, to stay inside for recess. Were those cuts? Outside was worse. Oh my gosh. Outside we'd have to rehearse running away or learn to stay still like statues, giving no clues who we were there. At no eight fly. years old? That's so sad. We typed a sign at the front of her desk that read, Beware of dog. To this day. So mean. Despite a loving husband, she doesn't think she's beautiful because of a birthmark that takes up a little less than half her face. Oh, goodness. Kids used to say she That's looks okay. like a wrong answer that someone tried to erase but couldn't quite get the job done. Oh, my gosh. And they'll never understand that she's raising two kids whose definition of beauty begins with the word mom. That's because so they sweet. see her heart before they see her skin. Because yeah. she's only ever always been amazing. He was a broken branch grafted onto a different family tree. Mm -hmm. Adopted. Not because his parents opted for a different destiny. Okay. He was three when he became a mixed drink of one part left alone and two parts tragedy. Oh, he started okay. Started therapy in eighth grade. Had so a he had to be adopted because of um, tragedy. Like the uphills were mountains and the downhills were cliffs for fifth suicidal a tiny Oh my way gosh, it's so sad. And an adolescent's being called Popper. Oh dear. One part because of the pills. Okay. Ninety-nine parts because of the cruelty. He tried to kill himself oh, in the red no. tent. The kid who could still go home to mom and dad had the audacity to tell him, get over it. As if depression is something that can be remedied <sighs> by any of the people. People don't understand when they say that. Aid kit. To this day, he is a stick of TNT lit from both ends. Oh gosh. Could describe to in detail the way the sky bends in the moments before it's about to fall. Oh my goodness. And despite an army of friends who all call him an inspiration, he remains a conversation piece between people who can't understand. Sometimes goodness. being drug free has less to do oh with Oh my goodness, no, no! We weren't the only kids who grew up this way. Oh my gosh. To this day, kids are still being called names. That's so true. The classics were hey stupid. Hey spaz. Seems like every school has an arsenal of names getting updated every year. It's it's true. Breaks, it changes every no year. Around chooses to hear, do they make a sound? And it's not just school, it's the internet it's background too. Background noise from a soundtrack stuck on repeat when people say things like mm. kids can be cruel. They can be. School was a big top circus tent. And the pecking order went from acrobats to lion tamers, from clowns to carnies. All of these miles ahead of who we were, we were freaks. Lobster claw boys and bearded ladies. Oddities juggling depression and loneliness, playing solitaire, oh. spinning the bottle, trying to kiss the wounded parts of ourselves and heal. Okay. And at night, while the others slept, we kept walking the tightrope. It was practice, and yes, some Just, of us fell. Okay. But I want to tell them that all of this is just debris. Left over when we finally decide to smash all the things we thought we used to be. Right. And if you can't see anything beautiful about yourself, get a better mirror. Exactly. Look a little closer. Exactly. Stare a little longer. Exactly. Because there's something inside you that made you keep trying despite everyone who told you to quit. You built a cast around your broken heart and right. yourself you signed it. They were wrong. Because they are. 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 Because they are.
Exactly. Maybe they decided to pick you last for basketball or everything. Oops. Maybe you used to bring bruises and broken teeth to show and tell, but never told. Because how can you hold your ground if everyone around you wants to bury you beneath it? You That's have so to sad. believe that they were wrong. Yes. They have to be wrong. They are wrong. Why else would we still be here? They are wrong. We grew up learning to cheer this on This is so sad. Because we see ourselves in them. We this stem is... from a root planted in the belief that we are not what we were called. We are not abandoned cars stalled out and sitting empty on some highway. Mm. And if in some way we are, don't so worry. Sad. We only got out to walk and get gas. We are graduating members from the class of we made it. Okay. Not the faded echoes of voices crying out names will never hurt me. Of course. They always they did. do. But our lives will only ever always continue to be a balancing act. Mm. That has less to do with pain mm. and more to do with beauty. Mm. Wow. <sighs> that was a really great animation. That was such a great animation. And I think this is from a TED Talk. Is this the guy? I gotta see. But I think this is from a TED Talk about bullying. Um, It's so deep and so heartwarming and there is a message. So I don't need to preach anything about it. But one of the things that I want to say is just remember that no matter what anybody says, no matter what anybody believes or, or thinks about you, you are beautiful. You do deserve to be happy. You do deserve to smile. You do deserve to love. So do not let other people take that away from you. Keep your heads up. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. No matter what and something I like to say to myself, because I get down, I get sad, I get upset. That happens to everybody. It does. People can be mean. People can be cruel. But no matter what, understand that you deserve to be happy. And I say from, you know, Finding Nemo, just keep swimming. When things go wrong and you fall down, get up, get back in the water, just keep swimming. Just keep on moving. Keep on moving. <sighs> That was very, very powerful. The link for that video is in the description box below. I know that there'll be tags um, or you'll see recommended videos for the original speech, but definitely check out that video. Share this video with anybody who you feel needs to be inspired or empowered because that word, that message is definitely empowering and I think there are a lot of people that need to hear it. So definitely check out the link for that in the description box below. If you like this video, hug the life out of that like button. Hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Subscribe for more awesome content. And until next time, buddy.